Hey everybody, today I'm going to take you through a 10 minute mat series focusing on our abs, our hamstrings, and our booties. Let's get started. You need a bender ball for this. We're going to take it between our knees right here. Peel yourself back. And I want you to focus on keeping a tight contraction on that ball. And we're going to squeeze up to the hips and lower down. Squeeze and lower. And down. So keep your abs pulled in tight right here. Don't balloon out through your middle. And focus on closing the door right here. These are the doors and we're closing them. It's not about how fast you go. It's about the quality of your contraction and your movement for me. Drive through the heels. We've got about 20 more seconds right here, and then we're going to switch moves. We'll pull the knees up to 90 degrees. We've got about eight seconds. Hold that up for me. Three, two, one. Lower the hips, pull the knees to 90 degrees right here. We're going to take the arms long. Keep that contraction on your ball. Peel up, and we're going to rotate sides. So we have about a minute here, and you can hear already, because I'm focusing on contracting down, you can hear that shake in my voice. And your goal is to try and get that forearm to the knee. If you need a break on your neck, just take it right here, roll it side and side, and then join me back in the lift and down. We have about 10 seconds. Can you do one more each side? Perfect, there we go. Take that ball, put it behind your left knee, single leg bridge right here. So I'm gonna drive through my right heel. And I'm gonna keep my left foot flexed that's activating the hamstring on my left leg. Squeeze up and down. I'm going to take my arms out a little bit wider to support my upper body and provide some good balance. And down. And we have about eight seconds left on this side. We're splitting it half and half. And two. And one and switch. Flex that right foot, drive up to the left, and down. So even though we've switched from core to bottom half here, still keep that belly button drawn into your spine. And two, and one. Switch places with that bender ball. All right, put it right here between your calves. Control that down. And pull it up. So I'm passing it between my calves and my hands. And this is working your entire middle right here. All of this. Can you do two more? Let me hear you say yes, we can. Last one. Awesome. We're going to bring that over onto our sides right here. Tucking the ball right behind that knee that's on top. Bottom knee is still folded. Imaginary resistance right here for me. We're going to lift, pull that heel. So this is a small range of motion and a contraction. Lift, squeeze. Imagine there's a string from that heel to your booty. 
that's what we're pulling. And we're supporting our upper body with our elbow underneath our shoulder. Nice. You're gonna get a little bit of this in the front of your thigh too. That's okay. Pull. Now here, I just want you to give me a lift. So lift it up five, four, three, two, one. Now just squeezes. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold that. Nice, good burn, right? You got two cheeks, we're gonna do the other side. Support your upper body. Find your setup, there's no need to rush, we got this. Let's lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, and squeeze. Nice. Now these little quick hitters that provide these isometric moves are really great additions to your lower body days, to your core workout days, to make sure that you hit all of the body parts. Lifting, squeezing, don't forget your string, pull it. And now we're just gonna lift five, four, three, ooh, that burns too. One, nice, just squeeze it, five, four, three, two, one. Here's our holding it, three, two, one. Awesome, we're gonna bend that top leg, bringing the bottom leg forward for that oblique crunch. And inner thigh pull. Obliques and inner thighs, keep your arm long, keep your leg long, and think about pulling diagonally across your body. So we've got a big range of motion right here, right? A big arc. To intensify this, we're gonna make it smaller and keep that leg up, keep that crunch activated. Pull your ribs and your belly button into your back right here. That's a lot of inner thigh. That's a lot of core. Five, four, Three, two, one. Other side, ready? Take it around. Top leg is bent. Bottom leg is long and strong. So is this arm. Here we go. Here and down. Crunch and down. You can do a lot of mat work a lot of tightening and toning in 10 minutes. If you stick with me right here. We're gonna increase that intensity. Are you ready? Here we go, cut that range in half, squeeze. Perfect, squeeze. Breathe. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Let's sit up right here. So our left leg, my left leg, depending on which side you started with, is in the front. And pretzel with that ball behind your right leg, flexing that right foot. We're squeezing this booty right here. Let me angle myself so you can see that. Here we go. So squeeze, pull, squeeze, pull. So when I'm teaching this in person, I always tell students to find that tiny fist deep inside their glute muscle here and squeeze it tight. Pull. Yes. Pull. Hello. <laughs> and it's not a video of mine unless there's a dog or a child in it. 
Now just squeeze it in on that hamstring squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. We're gonna stay on this side in pretzel pose. Bring that ball between the hands. And we're gonna twist. So I'm contracting my core and center. And twist and center. So imagine that you're pushing your triceps against some weight right here. Pressure on the ball. Triceps are closing the doors and we're using our cores. Doors and cores. Look at that. One more each way. Here we go. Awesome. Bring it around the other side. Put that ball right here behind the other knee. Situate your other leg forward. Lift that chest. We're refocusing on the glute right here and the hamstring. Squeeze. Let me turn. Squeeze and pull. And squeeze and pull. So this is deep hip work right here. Now whatever kind of workout you're into, if this is not your speed, if this is not your jam, this is still restorative. This is still gonna help you in your other activities, whether it be lifting or running, because you're gonna make these mind-muscle connections. You'll know how to activate these large muscle groups when it comes time for that sprint, when it comes time for that big deadlift. And squeeze. And now just squeeze this in with that heel. Squeeze it. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Stay in here. Last, a little bit of core work for me. So we're gonna twist it each side. Twist and center. And twist. So this only works if you do the work. If you push back and center. And we're almost there. We're gonna do one more each way. One and two and done. Let's bring that heel around. Sit here for just a second. Take a side reach, open the sides of your body. And thank you for joining me for this short but intense ab and booty workout. Hope you loved it, I'll see you next time.